strongly common oak, the low crown, the low crown. The pulpit, the, the goblet or pulpit within three metres almost of the root plate. The division of the crown, classic common oak. And certainly in its structure, in its architecture, it could also be a hybrid, Chris. You're in by a hybrid. Cecil and cannot cross with common. There is a third oak that crosses and back crosses with both. So it could look common, but actually it could have the morphology and shape of common. But it more likely, most oaks in Ireland are intermedia. Intermedia. Quarkus intermedia, also called X rosaceae. They're also called hybrid. I don't want to use the word hybrid because the word hybrid suggests that common and sessile cross. They can't and don't. Our two native oaks cannot cross. They fail to cross. But there always was a third oak bouncing back and forth with each. So the, the sessile does cross with the common via the intermediate. But they are not allowed the, the pleasure of intercourse. They must go through a service When did the Doggins take the, the estate? Are you serious? Lads, this is the end of the, the, the Cromwellian estate. I didn't know you came in under that act. The 1923 act. Meaning, and I know from the cut of you, you're not dogs. You did leave Oak. So this is part of the old Warren's Court estate. The tree over your head, these are older than you would think. These are remnants of an old Unionist loyalist estate. And the fine oak over, oh wow, big fat oak down there. So, this is a, this is a thrill, Connor. So did, did your family keep the oak woods on your purchase of the... You sold this to the, to the state under the, uh, there was a land, there was, there was a land act of the late 40s. So you sold it to the Forest Service. May I ask why? Did you have to? Was it for the rates? What year, sorry? Because the state wrongly gave the Forest Service the rights of compulsory acquisition. Good. Because they bought in County Galway and Clare 10 shillings an acre and they gave you one week to get out. If your house was even on, the, you were out. The Brendan Patrick O'Donnells were out on the road. Three generations later, madness broke out in the recessive genetic material. <laughs> but then, but that's clear. There's no question about it. If a badger is hunted from its ditch, it's going to get TB. And if the Irish are put out of their homes from 1818 under the new Depopulation of Ireland Act, which came into effect in 1831, we're going to get typhus and cholera. Not about potatoes. Workhouses were concentration camps. They weren't workhouses, they were concentration camps. Tim Pat Cougar has come very close to actually describing what was the killing machines of the 1840s. Anyway, what's relevant here is, you, because of rates, the state forced your family well, to surrender. Uh, yeah. Just economically, that's why it would be. It's all very cheap. Yeah. We, uh, 10 shillings in the west of Ireland, <coughs> in McCroom and Chiquila, one pound an acre. Yeah, it's shocking. Mm. Shocking. Truly.